everyone, it's Natalia here and happy Halloween to anyone who celebrates Halloween. Um, we don't particularly here but my little four year old got dressed up as a skeleton and went to daycare this morning so he was really excited about that and he looked really cute. So it is the end of October, I can't believe that, that's insane. Um, two more months left of the year, that is, I don't know where the year's gone. But it is time for monthly favourites. So I have got a few things here so I thought we'd just jump straight into it. Um, first of all, the first product I've got here, I'll just get the hair product out of the way, it is the Tresemme Heat Tamer Protective Spray. I really, I'm really enjoying using this one, I find it leaves my hair, it doesn't, I've used some heat thermal sprays that are sort of like oil based, it sort of makes my hair seem really oily. This one doesn't, it's just like a really fine mist that you put over your hair, it does the heat protecting and um, it's a really good value for money as well. So um, I picked that one up in Priceline about a month or so ago and I've been using it each time I do style my hair with heat. So um, yeah, loving that one, that one is really good and I'm glad I started using that. The next product I've got here is my nail polish favourite and my, my favourite nail polish of the month is this Lime Crime Parfait Day. It is just a really kind of cool pastel lolly pink colour. Um, I've been wearing it a lot, especially over the um, spring. And the weather is getting a lot hotter and I just like the nails to be sort of really bright and just I find just wearing a colour like that can really sort of pick your day up. So I've been loving that one. I've been turning to that one a lot. And I've got photos of this one on Instagram. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll be able to see that. If not, I will put a link below to my Instagram account and feel free to start following me. The next product I have got is, moving on to face products now, I have got a uh, MAC Face and Body Foundation and this is in the colour C6. I have been using the crap out of this foundation. <laughs> I love it, especially, especially in the hotter weather because it is just a sheer, it's a sheer coverage. It leaves my skin feeling really dewy and just, you know, really nice. So this is the um, foundation I've pretty much been using all month. I don't know what else to say about that except it is awesome. Well, I actually hadn't tried this up until a few months ago and one of my friends suggests she said that this is the only foundation she wears and so that sort of got me thinking oh I have to go and try it and since I bought it I love it so um, thank you for getting me onto that Makala I love it and yeah. For concealer I have been using the uh, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circle Eraser. This one is in 30 medium. I'm really liking this. I find that it um, sort of un gets rid of my dark circles but it also sort of illuminates under my eyes as well, which is turned it um, really nice. I like the and that the ball on it is just good enough to just wipe under your eyes really quickly and dab it out. And it's yeah, I really enjoy using that one and I find it does a really good job hiding dark circles as well. So that is one of my monthly favourites. One more concealer. <laughs> I've been using the Studio Sculpt Concealer and this is in the colour NW35. Now the reason I use, sort of use two concealers, I use this one for under eyes to erase dark circles and to highlight, like under my eyes, but you don't want to use a light concealer on blemishes, you want to use a darker concealer on blemishes to sort of push them back and make them not stand out. So I've been using the MAC Studio Sculpt Concealer to conceal any blemishes. Oh, and you don't want to put this under your eye because it is so thick. If you have any fine lines under your eyes, it'll just cling to it and make them stand out. So yeah, avoid under eyes and apart from that, it's a really good concealer. Um, next monthly favourite is the bronzer that I have been using. And this one is the Bahama Mama bronzer from The Balm. And I did a recent online haul video and I'll put a link to low and I'll show you so you can see what else I got from The Balm. And as you can probably see, it's a bit dirty. I am loving this bronzer. I really am. It is an amazing, amazing colour, especially for my skin tone for contouring. I have been using it so much for contouring and I love it. Matte finish, which is really good for contouring because you don't want to use shimmer. And yeah, just an overall really smooth and creamy bronzer as well. So I um, have been really enjoying that one. And the blush that I have been turning to a lot over the next last month is the MAC Mineralize Blush and it's in the shade Gleeful and it is a really sort of nice ready sort of pink colour it um that's it there it's sort of like a ready sort of pink colour 
with a bit of shimmer. It is just really nice. I just like applying blush to the outer half of my um, cheeks, bringing it in just to where my eye, edge of my eyes, and it just sort of look, you know, sort of brightens up the outer half of my face. So that's what I've been using that one, and I applied that one with a duo fiber brush because it sort of puts it on quite sheer. There's less chance of applying it being too heavy handed with one of these brushes. So um, in fact this is the brush that I use for it. It's really gorgeous and I love that one. I've been using that one a lot um, as my sort of go to blush colour. So looking Now lip products. I've got three lip products and the rest is eyes. So I'm just going to get on with the lip products. I got the, uh, went to Lush and I got the Lush Bubblegum Lip Scrub um, because my lips are really dry. I've been looking for a lip scrub for about three or four months. Whenever I go to the shops, I kind of just forget to go and look for one. It is, as you can sort of see, I've used quite a bit of it. If you like overly sweet, lolly, candy, sugary goodness, you will love this. Um, one thing I loved about it is the how to scrub and buff your lips to softness, lick off the excess, then apply your favourite Lush lip balm. Like literally, it's just sugar. Sugar and a bit of oil and some colour and smell and... It smells like bubble gummy, bubble gummy fairy floss kind of scent. Um, yeah. <laughs> Love it. It is amazing. And it also does a really good job um, exfoliating my lips. So I've been using that pretty much every day um, and then applying a treatment sort of lip balm on before I go to bed and sort of found that my lips haven't been getting as chapped and as dry as they would normally in this hotter weather. So I'm really loving that one. Um, I have also got a on the dry lip sort of front, I've also been using my Revlon lip butters a lot. The one I have been turning to is Brown Sugar number 20. And that's it there. It's just a really browny, nudey sort of colour. And I just think it looks really sort of nude and natural with my skin tone. So for those days where I don't want to apply lipstick or I want to have a no makeup look, um, I tend to turn to that one. And the last lip product I've got here is when I'm doing my complete opposite from the no makeup look and I want a dramatic, if I'm going out or I want like a dramatic makeup look, I've been using the OCC Lip Tart in Pretty Boy. This is amazing. I love this colour so, 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 so much. I'm just going to put it there on the back of my hand. And that's it there. As you can see, it is a gorgeous sort of beautiful, stunning pinky cool tone pink gorgeous love it so I have been using that and I get so many compliments whenever I use this one it is amazing that rounds up my lip products now the next are my eye products and I've got quite a few so let's start with um, a primer I received this uh, lime prime candy eye primer in um, a package with the to welcome me to the beauty team for Lipstick Republic and I'll put a link below to that video um, below. and I've never used it before I've always actually wanted to try it because I know I heard Goss Makeup Artist say this is probably one of the best eye primers out there better than Urban Decay Primer Potion so when I did watch that, I watched that a few months ago I thought I really want to get my hands on this um, and so I was lucky enough to receive it um, and it's amazing um, so it looks like that in the container there. I've, I've used some um, eye primers that the colour keeps the colour on but it also still creases and especially I find that especially in summer again my eyelids get extremely extremely oily so I do need to have a good so I do need to have a good eye primer that doesn't crease and I found this one doesn't it doesn't crease at all and it stays on like ridiculous amounts of time like I was trying to get this off I had to go through I think about four or five cotton rounds and two makeup wipes to remove this completely like a normal makeup remover wipe I wiped over my eyes didn't budge I did that three times before you could see that I'd tried to take it off so the staying power of this is absolutely amazing and I've actually just written up a blog review on this product so I'll put a link to my blog post below if that's something you're interested in um, but I'm just blown away by this eye primer, it's fantastic. So I mentioned before that I've sort of been going to a no makeup makeup look a lot. And to help me do that, I have been using my MAC Paint Pot in Groundworks. It's the same, um, 
it's sort of the same tone as my skin tone so that's why I use it a lot and this I found these also don't crease on me which is fantastic um which is another thing that I like about paint pots so on the days where I want to have a no makeup makeup look I would just apply groundworks paint pot from my eyelid all the way up to my brow and then I'll actually go in with a bronzer and a blending brush and just adding the bronzer into the crease gives it that slight contour so it doesn't look like a blank canvas and it just looks completely natural as if you're not wearing any makeup so that's throwing things away so that is one combination and that, so that I've been using that combination a lot. And it's two eyeshadows that I have been using a lot, and I did a recent. This was in my recent Priceline haul. I'm not going to do a haul for October because after seeing, after recording my haul for September, um, I decided that I needed to have a break from Priceline for a month. So I have. I have not purchased anything. For the month of October from Priceline. I did however get my um, Priceline sister club membership thing back and I got about $60 gift voucher for that so um, I'm going to be going shopping in November so keep an eye out for that haul at the end of the month. But the two eyeshadows I have been using are my two L'Oreal infallible eyeshadows. This one here is in Hourglass Beige and this one here is in Burning Black. You can see it's a purple and beige colour and I have been using this in conjunction. I've been applying this one all the way across my eyelid and I have been blending this one just into the outer V into the socket slightly and I think that is a gorgeous, gorgeous colour combination. Especially for evenings if you want sort of like a smoky eye but you don't want it to be really dark smoky eye so this sort of lights up your lid and this just adds a tiny bit of smoke on the edge and I think it's a really nice colour combination so I have been using them a lot and I'm loving these eyeshadows. An eyeliner that I have been using a lot this month is my Makeup Geek eyeliner and this is in the colour Mobster which is the brown colour. Um, I'll just put that on the back of my hand there. Um, again, sorry about the crazy baby noises, he's just down here, he's getting a little bit tired so I really should probably wrap this up. Um, but. Yeah, I'll bring him up to say hello in a minute. Um, so I have been using this one a lot because I just try to avoid the black intense eyeliner, especially during the day. So I just get this and I actually just apply it to my waterline and just really, really thinly at the base of my lashes. I don't really put a line, I just sort of push it into the base of my lashes just to intensify um, my lash line and it looks really, um, works really well and these do not come off. Seriously, the staying power of the Makeup Geek gel eyeliners are insane. Definitely worth checking it out. Now, the last thing I've got here is my favourite mascara of the month. Um, it's fun. And it is the Giorgio Armani Eyes to Kill Mascara and this is in the lengthening one. So this is the brush here, sort of getting closer you can see it. And that is like the flat side. And then it sort of comes to a thinner flat and a thin edge. It is amazing. Now, I've got a video coming up just purely on mascaras because I did purchase a high-end brand mascara um, a little while back and it was honestly the worst mascara I have ever tried. It was so not worth the money um, and I just hated it. I hated it from, I just, it was horrible. So when I, so I got this actually on the day of IMATS, I didn't buy it at IMATS obviously, but after I left IMATS on the Sunday I was walking up to Town Hall um, and this is, uh, this is how my brain works and I still don't understand how I actually ended up buying this. But on my way to Town Hall train station I said I was just going to go grab a coffee. So I was walking to find a cafe and I couldn't find one because it was late on a Sunday afternoon and things were closing. Well, not a good one. I'm not going to go and buy shit coffee because I can't, I can't do bad coffee. So I was walking along and then I sort of found myself walking towards Pitt Street Mall and I'm like, oh, while I'm here, I'm just going to go pop into Illamasqua because this is just after they dropped their prices for the um, fight for a better price campaign thing that they did. Um, so I'm like, I'm just going to pop to Illamasqua in Maya and sort of see their products and see what I can buy. So I was walking towards Maya and then I'm like, no, stop, you didn't buy much at IMAX, you've been so good, don't go and blow everything now at Maya. So I talked myself out of that and I'm walking up towards um, St. James train station and as I was walking past David Jones I looked across and all I could see was the David Jones cosmetic 
um, level and I'm like oh I'm just gonna pop in there and have a look so I went in there and I was actually there to try some of the Tom Ford makeup because I've heard so many people rave about it it is so excruciatingly expensive I wasn't actually gonna purchase anything which is why I thought it would be a good idea to go and check it out when I wasn't actually gonna buy anything so I did I went and checked it out it's amazing but yeah <laughs> not right now um, and then I as I was walking out I looked over and I saw Armani Eyes to Kill and I wanted like, it for ages so um, two minutes later I was walking out with a rather expensive mascara but <laughs> it is fantastic it is amazing it is everything I actually ever thought it would be um, oh, well saying that I did actually ask for the Voluming, volumizing mascara and she said that they're all the same and I'm like no it can't be I did question her and she's like no blah 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 you don't know what you're talking about I'm like okay you're the person who works here you must know so when I got it home I looked it's actually the length lengthening mascara but I find this does enough it does give my eyelashes a lot of volume as well it really thickens them up and lengthens them so I am loving this mascara I've used it so much I don't, I don't really want it to run out because I know that I will want to go and buy it again and whether I could justify spending that much on a mascara for everyday use I don't know but you know whatever it was a impulse shop on my way to get coffee I bought a mascara and you know what I still didn't even get a coffee that day so um <laughs> that is my final that is my favorite mascara product that is my favorite mascara of the month and that rounds up my October monthly makeup beauty hair products. If you hope you guys enjoyed that. I would love to see what your favourite products are so leave it in a uh, video response below because that would be awesome and um, yeah if you've tried any of these things or you have any questions about any of these products just leave them in the comment bar below also and I will get back to you. I'll also put a link below to my blog and the um, Instagram if you want to go over and check out that it's a bit more of like I use Instagram more personally I use uh, Instagram is actually my personal account so you probably if you come and um, follow me there you probably see a bit more for a few more photos of um, just you know my regular everyday Wow, oh, and this is my little Axel say hi <laughs> thought I'd get him up before he starts cracking it but yeah if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave comments or whatever and don't forget to subscribe to my channel also so you don't miss out on any hauls or favorite videos that I do in the future so yeah that is it and I'll are you laughing at mummy? are you laughing at mummy? <laughs> so that's it for this video and from Axel and I we'll see you later bye